Good evening everyone, good evening sir. Tonight we will present to you the water resources engineering topic. The report's objectives. First, to know what is water resources engineering. Second, to know the importance of water resources engineering. Third and lastly, to enable students to know how this water resources engineering works. First and foremost, what exactly is water resources engineering? Water resources engineering is a huge field which involves managing available water resources from the standpoint of both water quantity and water quality to meet the water needs of humanity and habitats at the local, regional, national, or international level. This focuses on supplying water for human use, removing water when humans are finished using it, and developing methods of avoiding damage from excess water or floods. So there are three categories of water resources engineering which are the groundwater engineering, hydrological engineering, and the hydraulic engineering. So first, the groundwater engineering or another name for hydrogeology and a branch of engineering which is concerned with the groundwater movement and design of wells, pumps, and drains. It also focuses on modeling and managing subsurface water and designing extraction systems. So, groundwater engineers are the one who's responsible in the groundwater movements and design of wells, pumps, and drains. Also, the main role of groundwater engineering, including groundwater contamination, conservation of supplies, and water quality. Second, hydrological engineering. Hydrology is primarily associated with watershed, and river modeling and understanding interactions between atmospheric, surface, and subsurface water. And its topics commonly covered include urban drainage, water supply, wastewater treatment, river management, and coastal protection. So, hydrological engineering, or sometimes called hydrologic engineering, is an engineering specialty that focuses on water resources, and it also deals with the study of occurrence, distributions, movement, and the properties of water on the earth or beneath the earth, surface, or in the atmosphere. Lastly, the hydraulic engineering or hydromechanics consists of the application of fluid mechanics water flowing in an isolated environment, pipe pump, or an open channel, river, lake, ocean. So hydraulic engineering deals with the technical challenges involved with water, infrastructure, and sewerage design. So, hydraulic engineering also includes the design of hydraulic structures such as sewage conduits, dumps and breakwaters, the management of waterways such as erosion protection and flood protection, and environmental management such as protection of the mixing and transport of pollutants in surface water. Advantages of being in the field of water resources engineering Water resources engineering relates to the task of supplying water that fit for human use, developing efficient methods of avoiding damage from floods, excess water, and removing water when people are done using it. These are some example projects and their function in the water resources engineering. We have farm irrigation system. Its function is to divert water from the water source, conveying it to individual fields within the farm, distributing it within each field, and providing a means for measuring and regulating flows. These systems supply moisture for plant growth that transport nutrients and a flow of water that dilutes salt in the soil, which are all essential for agriculture. Water Treatment Plant To help keep water safe as it travels to homes and businesses, water treatment plants will make sure that water has low levels of chemical disinfectant when it leaves the treatment plant. This remaining disinfectant kills germs living in the pipes between the water treatment plant and your tap. Water treatment is, in, is increasingly necessary due to drinking water shortages and the growing needs of the global population. Wastewater treatment plant to remove as much of the suspended solids as possible before the remaining water, called effluent, is discharged back to the environment. To allow human and industrial effluents to be disposed of without dangers to human health or unacceptable damage to the natural environment. Drainage system. 
to manage surface water that take account of water quantity, flooding, water quality, pollution, biodiversity, wildlife, and plants. And amenity are collected, referred to as sustainable drainage system or SUDS. To dispose of water, this water as quickly as possible and should prevent gases from sewers and city tanks from entering the residential areas. Water supply, storage, and distribution. To del deliver water to all customers of the system in sufficient quantity for portable drinking water and fire protection purposes at the appropriate pressure with minimal loss of safe and acceptable quality and as economical as possible. Functions of Water Resources Engineering Water Resources Engineering generally deals with the provision of water for human use and the development of techniques for the prevention of destruction from floods. This also includes the planning and management of facilities that are constructed for this task line, like making tunnels for irrigation and servers for drainage, and to avoid water loading, and all other issues related to the usage of control of water. Contributions to the world and improvements made by water resources engineering. Water resource engineers develop new equipment and system for water resource management facilities across the country. The systems by the water resource engineers ensure the citizens are provided with continuous supply of clean and uncontaminated water drinking, living, and recreational purposes. Importance of Water Resources Engineering Water resource engineers work with water. They determine how much water is needed, where water is available, and how much is available and then determine the hydraulic controls necessary to convey water to where it is needed. They design works to control the flow of water in open channels, pipe networks, groundwater flow, and hydraulic structures. Water resource projects might include protecting beaches from tsunamis and erosion, keeping harbors clear of slip, design of wall fields of municipal, industrial, and agricultural use, and locks and dams for navigation. Water resource engineers often work on multi-purpose projects that provide benefits such as flood control, hydraulic power, recreation, irrigation, water supply, and enhancing the environment. That's all for our report. Thank you so much for paying attention. May God bless us all.